All right, today in the shop, I wanted to make sure, number one, I didn't have any major repairs to do on the uh, the white. It looks fine. That looks like that's going to gonna be a, a, a really nice part when it's done. And of course, we're ready to start the, uh, the final finish on a good part of these parts. But we have one little issue left to resolve on this, besides stripping it and painting the tank. This part has to be fit, and it doesn't fit right now. You would think this would be a relatively simple issue. It mounts with a bolt down here, and it looks like the original part had two, had some kind of bracketing that went in. But here's the problem. When you put this in, these sides don't exactly, I'm going to go out to the garage in a few minutes. These sides don't exactly line up. I want to figure out what I want to do. And I need to make, and I see what's happened because this has fallen backward. It's hit the exhaust and put some damage to it. Now I can repair that damage. That's no problem at all. But I want to figure out a better way of mounting this. Now as this sits in a motorcycle, it starts to do that. So I was thinking I can make a bracket. I, I This... This part has a hole, but there's no matching hole in the fairing. So again, these are these are things that I have to resolve before I go on. And it looks like this bracket down here is broken. So I do want to spend some time because this is a part you really do see. So the first thing is to get out to the shop and see if I can make this fit any better. Now you would think this is going to be a relatively easy thing, but <sighs> these are the kind of things that wind up eating up a big chunk of time. So if you notice, this part does go together the way it should. There's one bolt through the middle, but again, those parts wind up. There's, there's got to be some kind of bracketing up here. We never really figured this out when we were turning this bike into a track bike. We never really cared either. So as I'm holding that there, and I can see this is going to be difficult, it doesn't really line up exactly the way I want. So as I hold this in position, I can see one of the issues is I'm going to have to take this off the motorcycle to do this. First off, the parts, they have to be repaired, the paint stripped, and I'm going to have to make some bracketing or some, something in there. But one of the good things is because I have the other parts fit up, I can now take the side pieces off the bike and I can take this downstairs and get this part stripped. And I will have to make some brackets here, that's all there is to it. Now what this will do is give me a little chance to get in there while I have this, all this stuff apart, clean everything out. And I, my plan was to leave the fuel tank to the last thing, so that Number one, I can leave the fuel tank on the bike so I can run it if this goes into the long winter months. I like to run it at least once every two or three weeks. And, but then saving a the fuel tank for the last thing, you know, this gives me an opportunity to clean up everything in here, run the bike, make sure I haven't disconnected any wires or done any other silly things. And silly things do happen when you do this. So I'm going to pull the rest of this apart. And that might be... Uh, Give me the opportunity to get in here this afternoon and do some cleaning. I have my steam cleaner. I have all the chemicals and I really would like to clean that engine up while I have the support. Okay, we're all the parts off. The next step on this whole little project is going to be pull all the little rubber bushings out. I'm going to take these outside and hose them off with some simple green. Inside, of course, they're filthy. I just don't even want to bring that dirt and grease into the shop. I have this apart, and while I'm going to go outside, get the hose, I can just put some simple green on this. This can sit for 10-15 minutes, and I'll wipe it clean and blow it dry with some air, just to get some of this heavy grease off. And these are the parts that you really don't get to clean that often. This always reminds me of the days when I was doing the first, the first restoration on this bike about five years ago, and I was thinking of making a street fighter out of it. It's a lot less work making a street fighter than, than doing what I'm doing.
No, I just thought I'd mention this is a product that comes from uh, our friend Harbor Freight. They make two versions. This is a, a dollar more than the cheaper version. This takes grease off of driveways and you don't want to get this on the paint. But while we have all the painted parts off, this would be a great time to do this. And I've been using it in a simple green bottle, so. But it, this is a little bit stronger than simple green. Now while I'm doing some cleanup on the inside of it, by the motor area, I can just degrease on this. I don't want this in the shop. Use that heavy duty degreaser. In a few minutes, I'll just take an ordinary garden hose, hose this off. Now, the problem is we're supposed to have some inclement weather tomorrow, and I was hoping I could get, well, get these parts down in the cellar anyway, where I could work on them. We're always working around the weather. It's unbelievable. Okay, so if that sits there now, if I let that sit for a few minutes, here's the point. The garden hose over there will take a good chunk of that off then. So we got a basic little cleanup. You can see all the junk that blew off of there with the air hose. And just one of probably another thousand steps for this restoration. No, it'd really be a shame not to clean up everything in there. Now I'm going to do a much better job next time we have a rainy day. I can get out here and get my stick with the... Uh, get get in there a little bit more look around for anything that looks suspect needs to be replaced this is a good time to do it well time to go see how that degreasing agent is working on our side fairings we may get those cleaned up today and we're expecting a rainy day tomorrow now, every day i work out here i always try to think of my sequencing list and think you know am i doing things am i going to get the horse ahead of the cart here well it was important to get this piece that I know how I want to make that bracket now. Because when I put the fairings back on, the way this bike goes together, that, that piece is going to be some part you see, and it always bothered me. This piece has to be uh, repaired, of course, so we do that in the next couple days. But getting this done today, this was a big thing. Now that certainly will be a big help not having to bring all that grease into the uh, into the shop the rest of this I'll have to do with now these parts need extensive repair extensive this let me just explain this looks like this probably is air tech bodywork it's certainly not the stuff that came with the motorcycle so it is fiberglass so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to reinforce this whole area grind it all down uh, grind that down and we're gonna have to make a bracket or something in there I'm just looking real close this is gonna be a major major job this has already been reinforced more than once so I know this bike uh, has had a rough service life it's kind of like me <laughs> rough around the edges but anyway we will be able to salvage these we could salvage anything let's be realistic about it Anyway, this is going to need some repair up here, but when we're done, the good news is when we're done with these parts, they will absolutely be better than new. And that's all we're going to get done in this session, but we will continue this on the next day or so, depending on how the weather plays out. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but look at the beautiful weather. We actually could have gone for a ride today, but we have other family stuff to do. But boy, I'm trying to take advantage of every riding day because sooner or later, just like the dinosaurs, they'll be gone. So I hope you enjoyed our little session. We try to share some video every day, what's going on in our life, and some of it's good, 
Some of it is uh, debatable whether it's good. I still think this would have made a great street fighter. <laughs> Next time I restore it, if I live that long, maybe it will be. Anyway, again, thanks for watching.